number 163, new construct for quadratic functions, asks uh, a science class designed a ball launcher and tested it out by shooting a tennis ball straight up from the top of the 25-story building. So these students are on top of a building. They have an initial height of uh, 100 feet. And they launch a ball from this height upwards and this ball comes back down, travels downwards. And so we want to know uh, what is the maximum height of the ball. So this apex, what is this height, height max? And at what time will the ball hit the ground? So this time. Uh, okay, so we can model this uh, motion of the ball with a quadratic function. And this means that we can find the two zeros of the function where the ball would uh, intercept or uh, hit the ground. So we're finding our zeros. Uh, this would be, so we would find uh, the zeros, meaning the time at where the ball touches the ground. So this is actually solving the uh, second portion of the problem. So, okay, so we have zero equals negative 4.9 t squared plus 29.5 t plus 100. Uh, we could factor, we could do uh, completing the square. I think though uh, easiest would be just to use quadratic formula. So we have t equals negative 29.5 plus or minus square root of 29.5 squared minus four times uh, negative 4.9 times 100 over 2 times negative 4.9. So my t is equal to negative 29.5 plus or minus <coughs> uh, this whole square root. So that would be 29.5 squared minus <coughs> negative 4 uh, times 4.9 times 100, take the square root of that, is 53.2. So, so yeah, so our numbers don't work out very nice. Uh, over negative 9.8. <laughs> and so our two times, uh, if we look at the time uh, that we want it to hit the ground uh, after we launch it. So that time would have to be positive, uh, which means that we have to consider the time that would give us, uh, if this is a negative in the denominator, then the numerator would also have to be negative. So we have to look at uh, this negative solution. So that uh, the time at which the ball would hit the ground would be t equals negative 29.5 minus 53.2 over negative 9.8, which would be the time of um, 53.2, 9.8, 8.44 seconds. Uh, yes, t, t is in seconds. And uh, we can also find the uh, sort of imaginary time because this ball never never traveled to this uh, negative height through the building. But in order to find uh, the point at which we have this apex, this uh, vertex of our uh, you know projectile motion, then we have to find that other time. So that other time would be uh, if I call this t2, then t1 would be negative 29.5 plus 53.2 over negative uh, 9.8. So that would be uh, 29.5 divided by 9.8 would be negative 2.42 seconds. So the average of these two times so average of 8.44 and negative 2.42 is uh, 3.01 seconds. So the time 
at which the ball hits the apex, which is the average of uh, the two times of the zeros, is 3.01 seconds. So now we can plug this t apex back into our height equation and solve for the maximum height of the ball. So the maximum height would now be t uh, apex equals negative 4.9 times 3.01 squared plus 29.5 times 3.01 plus 100, which gives us a height max of 3.01 squared times 4.9. Negative one plus 29.5 times 3.01 plus 100 uh, gives us 144.4 uh, feet, I believe. Uh, doesn't tell us the units for height, but I'll just go with feet. 144.4.